One of the things I failed to do as a younger hunter was have a plan B for weather conditions, wind conditions that didn't really suit the time of year or the what's and the why's. So, and in those cases, I ended up forcing the spot and I'd end up hunting a spot that really, I was just flipping a coin and more times than not, I got busted and so now I've revealed myself. So, what is a plan B? You need to have some type of a stand set up for the worst possible wind conditions that you feel like that could play because here in Iowa, although I really want to be able to have those west and northwest and southwest winds, there's also times where you're just going to have that east wind and it's going to be for several days. And if it's during the rut, what do I do? So I try to look at the what's of if it's early season and I have the worst possible wind option, do I have a, do I have a plan B? If it's pre-rut, rut, where deer are gonna be in cover and I get this wind, am I gonna have a spot where I can sit all day and not blow everything out? Or if it's late season and I have a perfect food source and I get an east wind in the middle of December or January, do I have a place I can even go? The answer you have to have is yes. So I'm really excited about this spot because this is a spot that I continually see deer in here during the rut. And I have several locations that are on the perimeters. They're safe zones that I can hunt during the rut with really any other wind other than this east wind. However, when I looked at this place and I thought about the how do I hunt it, well, when it comes to how do I hunt it, you can see most trees here are like 16, 20 feet and they just, there's no way I'm gonna put a stand in a cedar tree that's six inches around. This was the only option. Behind it is all cattle pasture. So I'm not really gonna worry about stuff back there. But what's cool is with this east wind, now I have a plan B of this is the absolute perfect spot to rattle. I can come up, get in this spot, I can be overlooking this entire rut area and even if the wind is poor and it's in my face i've created this little pocket right here just so that it'll work with the only tree that i can get in and now i have the option to to tuck a little decoy up under here like maybe he's rubbing this tree and if any type of buck comes up here to just get to those horns i'm going to be in the perfect spot so Always try to think about the what's, the what time of year, and decide what is a plan B. If I don't have the wind that I need for three or four or five days, where can I go? Such an important thing for you to answer because oftentimes people choose time off of work for their vacation. And if all of a sudden you pick November 1st to the 7th to be hunting during the rut, and you come out and there's a northeast wind for four days, yet everything that you had set up during the summertime or early season is set up for those south, west, or north winds, well, now you're kind of screwed and you're gonna end up trying to pick the lesser of three evils of where can I hunt. The reality is you should always have a plan B because that will end up being plan A.